Hallowitz, it's Trixie, and today I want to tell you what non-Germans should be aware of before they order food online or in a restaurant in Germany. Let's just say some dishes are not what they appear to be, at least based on what non-Germans are used to. I've seen so many of my foreign friends and colleagues make the same mistakes, ordering something that sounds familiar to them, but when the food is served or delivered, their face is like... <laughs> That's why in this video I want to warn you. You know, in the if you order this, you'll not get this, but this kind of way. Let's start with pepperoni. You want to order a pizza, it says pepperoni in the description, so what do you get? This as a topping, right? Pepperoni is meat, so there will be slices of salami on it. Well, not quite. In Germany, pepperoni does not refer to salami. It's usually mild green chili peppers. Either the whole thing or slices of it. You can also buy pepperoni in the supermarket. I prefer mine filled with creamy cheese. So pepperoni pizza is actually vegetarian in Germany. Unless you order pepperoni salami. Pepperoni salami is a spicy kind of salami, so meat indeed. Are you completely confused now? Perfect, then it's time for the next example. Talking about peppers, this is a bell pepper. In German, however, we call it paprika. Exactly, like the condiment. Both this and this are paprika in German. The only difference is that we use an article for the vegetable, the paprika, and no article for the condiment. Now, you think that's funny, English speakers? Well, not so fast. Pepper and pepper, isn't it? At least we call this der Pfeffer in German. I actually made the paprika mistake myself when I went to London a couple of years ago. Me and my friend ordered a sandwich and I said, eh, but no paprika on mine, please. The waiter gave me a look like, well, I didn't plan to go all that fancy on your sandwich anyway. And guess what I got? A sandwich without condiments, not even salt or pepper but with bell pepper. Of course, that didn't ruin the meal for me. There's barely anything that can get between me and food. I just didn't like bell pepper that much at that time, and I definitely learned my lesson. Next, another meal thing that totally sounds like something it isn't. Halve Hahn. It's so similar to halba Hahn, which would be half a chicken, but you won't get any kind of fried chicken when you order it. Instead, you'll be served a rye roll with a thick slice of cheese. Most likely, an aged gouda. And then there are pickles, onions, and mustard. Not quite what you expected, huh? First pepperoni pizza, now fried chicken. Looks like you'll unintentionally end up being vegetarian in Germany. Falscher Hase is another German dish that isn't what it appears to be. But at least by calling itself falsch, wrong or false, it doesn't make a big secret out of its misleading name. So good news to all rabbit family members subscribed to this channel. Falscher Hase, false hair, does not contain rabbit meat. It's basically just meatloaf, so it's made out of beef or pork or both. Often you'll find hard-boiled eggs inside, and some creative cooks will even arrange the meat in the shape of a rabbit with carrot sticks as ears, for example. It's pretty grotesque if you think about it. Cow meat in the shape of a rabbit with eggs inside. You know, this channel is called Don't Trust the Rabbit, but actually Falscher Hase is the real deal. It is almost as weird as a met eagle, which is a pile of minced pork meat shaped as a hedgehog with olives for eyes and pretzel sticks or onions resembling the spines. And yep, you eat the whole thing raw. You just dig into it with slices of bread and then I guess after telling you all of this, the fact that it's not an actual hedgehog that you're eating is nothing but a scrap of comfort, huh? Now, bread is my next keyword. You may have heard the claim that German bread and pastries are delicious. Well, truth be told, they are. So scrape this off your stereotypes about Germany list and put it onto your fact sheet. What's Unexpected to many foreigners, though, when Germans say brot or you find it on a menu, they do not mean this, which is bread in many other countries. Newsflash, this is der Toast. Toast. If you have to call it brot, at least make it das Toastbrot. You know, to Germans, toast isn't really bread. This is bread. Or this. Or this. Saying that toast is bread is like saying the Hobbit trilogy is Lord of the Rings or that Kölsch is beer. So long story short, toast, brot. 
toast and bread is what people usually eat for breakfast. Another common breakfast meal is of course cereal. And here it gets really weird. Because many Germans, me included, call cereal cornflakes. No, not only the literal cornflakes, but every kind of cereal. Even the most colorful hoopsy doopsy honey chocolate cinnamon happy loops. <sighs> cornflakes. And last but not least, there are some minor things that I want to mention. Nudeln can be both pasta and Chinese noodles. Der Salat is a salad, but it's also the most common word for lettuce. Leberkäse, liver cheese, contains neither liver nor cheese. And have you stumbled upon Zungenwurst, tongue sausage yet? Then ha 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 ha, I fooled you. That's in fact sausages made out of cow tongues and blood. Hmm, did this also make you hungry? I am hungry must be the weather. Now I'm curious, how many of these misleading food names did you know already? Were you surprised by some of them? Have you ever ordered a meal in another country and got something extremely different from what you expected? Tell me your story in the comments. Oh, and in case you wondered, I'm afraid that the hater's sidekick couldn't make it today. After she tried to screw me up with the latest video title, I may have put her in a little timeout. <coughs> So that she has time, you know, to think about her mistake, breaking my trust, and all the hateful comments in general. But I'm sure she's safe and sound and back here soon. Alright, Babbits, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, because that would make me really, really happy. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and check out this video if you like. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit for more videos like this one and if you want to support my channel even a bit more then you can also find me on Patreon. I would really appreciate your help. Now wish you all a beautiful day, be careful when you order food in Germany and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!